So today we are talking about arc length, an area of a sector of a circle. So these are two applications of central angles, um, which we talked about on Wednesday. Okay, remember that we've only got four lessons left in the uh, semester, in theory. We have today, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week. And if everything is turned in, uh, once that assignment from that Friday is turned in, geometry's over if everything is done and everything is a 70%. So today we are talking about arc length, okay? Start with arc length today. Arc length is exactly what it sounds like. It's the distance along the circle between two points on the circle. It's the length of an arc, okay? Now we should keep in mind that this is a fractional portion of the circumference of the entire circle, which means our arc length equation is actually based on uh, the equation for the circumference of a circle. So our equation for circumference of a circle was two pi r, okay? Now, that's for the entire circle. So arc length is based on the measure of the central angle, which we are going to call theta, okay? That is the Greek letter theta, okay? Once again, if you're not comfortable with using a Greek letter, just use an X, it's a variable. You can use whatever letter you want, okay? But in higher mathematics, Greek letters are used to represent unknown angle measures. And that central angle there uh, for this purpose, we don't know it right now, but it will be given. You'll be given a degree measure there, and that measure is going to be theta, the measure of the central angle. So for arc length, what we do is we take that measurement theta, we divide it by 360, and then we multiply that fraction by the circumference. Okay, so the arc length, L, is equal to theta over 360 times two pi r, okay? Now it's worth noting that in theory, this could get uh, simplified to theta times pi times r over 180, because the two and the 360, the two is on top, the 360 is on the bottom, so that would cancel. So in theory, this would be the simplest version of the arc length equation. Theta times pi times r divided by 180, okay? Now we're gonna be doing an assignment on delta math and I've been playing with delta math to make sure I know exactly how it works. Um, and what we need to see, remember here is that not all of your calculators have a pi button, right? Yes, theta is a variable, okay? So if your calculator does not have a pi button, if it has a pi button, use the pi button for delta math, okay? But if it doesn't, then you need to use this value for pi. You need to use a value at least that accurate, 3.14159. I found out last night that if you only use 3.14, your answer is not going to be accurate enough to be correct. So you need to make sure you're using 3.14159 for pi or the pi button. If you have one of the yellow calculators, just use the pi button and it will be accurate enough to get it correct on delta math because it does ask you to round your answers off to the nearest hundredth. And if you only use 3.14, your answer will not be correct. It needs to be more accurate than that, okay? So let's do a couple of arc length examples here, and then we'll move on into the other topic for today, area of a sector, okay? So here are two examples. We're going to do these, okay? We're going to find the arc length of AB. So the arc length of AB is going to be pi times theta times r over 180. Theta is 68, r is 12. So we have 68 
times 3.14159 times 12 divided by 180. And we feed that to our calculator, just like it reads. Okay, so we hit the fraction button. If you have one, if not, just multiply and then divide. Okay, it'll work out fine. Put that all to the calculator. Okay, and we are going to round to the nearest hundredth as practice for our assignment. Nearest hundredth is two decimal places. So our value here is going to be one, four, 14, point, uh, two, four, one. And that third digit tells us to round down. So our answer would be that L is about 14.24 units. And on Delta Math, you will not need to include units. It'll be done for you. Okay, you'll just have to give me 14.24. Same thing for the next one. Okay, we're asked to find the arc length of BC. So we pull out our arc length equation, theta pi R over 180. R is 14. Theta is 120. So 120 times 3.14159 times 14 divided by 180. Feed it to the calculator. And we get 29.32. Two, one. So again, that says round down. So the arc length would be 29.32 units. Okay. If you have any questions, ask them in the chat. If not, take your screenshot. We're going to be moving to the next screen here extremely shortly. So that's arc length. Arc length is a fraction of the circumference. So we have that equation. Our arc length L is equal to the central angle times pi times the radius divided by 180. Okay. That brings us to our next application, which is area of a sector. A sector of a circle is a fractional person, portion, fractional portion of a circle. It's like a pie slice, okay? As such, it has a similar relationship to area equation of a circle as arc length did to circumference. It is a fractional portion of the area. So our area equation for a circle was that area was pi times the radius squared. So here, we are going to use a fractional portion of the circle based again on our central angle theta. So once again, we're going to do theta over 360 times pi r squared. And that will be the area of a sector. It doesn't get any nicer than that because there's nothing that cancels like there was in the arc length equation. Okay, so that's going to be the equation we are going to use. Okay, and once again, we still need to make sure we are using 3.14159 at least. Again, if you have a pi button on your calculator, that's even better, okay? but you need to be making sure you're using a very accurate number for pi or your answers on delta math will be counted wrong because you need to use a value that is more accurate than what you're being asked to round to, okay? If you're being asked to round to the nearest hundredth, your pi value needs to be more accurate than that. Okay, so let's do some examples. We'll start with this one. 
Once again, we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. So here we're going to find basically the area of the shaded region, which is a sector of the circle. We have a theta value of 165 degrees and a radius value of 9. The area of the sector is theta over 360 times pi times the radius squared. So that would be 165 over 360 times 3.14159 times the radius squared, so 9 squared. And again, we're just going to, we're just feeding it to the calculator, okay? So 165 divided by 360 times 3.14159 times 9 squared. So that would be 116.63, and amazingly, we got one yet again. So again, any number less than five here means we're going to round down. So our area would be 116.63 square units. That would be our area of a sector. Okay. One more example, so if you want to grab a screenshot, do it now, okay? On the next one here, we are also going to round to the nearest hundredth. Because we're going to use delta math again for our assignment today, and it is going to require you to round to the nearest hundredth. So again, they give us in the problem a radius and a theta value. So all we have to do is plug into our area of a sector equation, which is theta divided by 360 times pi r squared. So theta is 32 degrees, so 32 divided by 360 times pi, which is 3.14159, or you can just use the pi button. Either way, you'll get an accurate answer. And then times the radius, which is 18 squared. We're going to feed that to our calculator. So 32 over 360 times pi 3.14159 times 18 squared is 90.477. So since this is bigger than five, we're going to round this up, which would mean the area is going to be 90.48 square units. All right. Uh, take a screenshot of that if you want it. That does it for our lesson today.